The best short documentary, The Last Repair Shop. And you saw him on stage and you see him there in our pictures. Ben Proudfoot, co-director, Canadian Ben Proudfoot, winning his second Oscar. Oh, my goodness. And look who is with me live in his Uber with his Oscar. <laughs> hey, Ben, good morning. Congratulations. Good morning. Thank you so much. Hold that up again because people at home haven't had a good. There we are. There we are. Number two for you. There he is. Congrats from everybody at home. <laughs> Listen, uh, I want to talk so many things, but I want to talk about that moment last night because last time you won your Oscar, uh, it was at a pre ceremony thing. So this was the first time. There you are with Chris making that acceptance speech, you on stage. What, were, what was yes. that moment like? What were those moments like for you to be there? Absolutely incredible, you know, uh, once in a lifetime experience for our film team to be together in that place at that moment. You know, Porsche, 12 year old Porsche just stormed the stage. <laughs> uh, just an amazing star. We, we were so proud of her. And she was so beautiful. Uh, uh, it was an incredible moment. And I thought Chris just gave it incredibly beautiful speech. I was so proud. He did. Porsche, there, we'll go back to that picture, the violinist who says in your <laughs> film that she doesn't know what she would do if she didn't have her violin. She was one of your stars, and I, th I think she ended yes. up holding your, your Oscar there, but she looks so she did. Dull. Yes, she did. Uh, so what were, the, what were the discussions with her and her living that moment, too, with you? Oh, my gosh. I mean, you can see it. I mean, imagine, imagine you're 12 years old. You know, you're you're there on the Oscar stage holding an Academy Award. I mean, she was just over the moon, thrilled. Um, and Porsche is is what it's all about, right? It's what all these repair people in the film do their work for. It's why we made the film is so that young people like Porsche can have equal access to musical education. Free instruments and free repairs to their instruments in the Los Angeles school system. That's what the basis and the story is in your incredible documentary. Um, I want to talk about your, you're right. on your way to your interview. Everybody, I'm sure, wants to talk to you. I want to talk <laughs> about last night because I think you told the Canadian press that you were hoping to go to the Vanity Fair after party. What happened? Tell us, tell us what you can, Ben, about the celebrations. What happened last night? Yeah, so we, we went to the Searchlight Pictures party, and then we went to the Vanity Fair party, and it was absolutely incredible. We danced the night away on the dance floor. Um, you know, it was it, it, that that is an awesome party. Um, so we had we had the time of our lives. Had an In and Out burger, which is the classic thing at the Vanity Fair party, <laughs> and uh, you know, ran around with this thing and had a blast. I love the smile. It really says a lot to me this morning. <laughs> now, when you eventually get home to Halifax, will the Oscar celebrations just roll on there? What's the plan at home? I hope so. Yeah, we got to, you know, line up the donairs and let's go. <laughs> I used to live there, know all about the donair. It's key to any celebration. You're absolutely right. It is. Any family up watching us this morning? Is mom there? Should we say hi to anybody in Halifax this morning? Uh, my mom is here and my sister is here with okay. me in L.A. Um, but I have lots of family all across Canada um, who who might be watching my my uh, aunts and uncles and in Calgary, my cousins all across the country and many in Nova Scotia as well. Cheering for you. Okay, a couple of quick questions. I could go on and on. But sure. I, listen, uh, uh -huh. we talked about the story itself, this this music education, making opening it up for so many who would not otherwise have access for it. What impact do you hope your film has, not just on music education, Ben, we can talk about that, but also people like Porsche, the people in your film? Yeah. Well, you know, I think I think our hope is that this film will make sure that this program continues so that students like Porsche uh, can continue to, you know, when they reach out, they will get a violin, they will get a saxophone. There's so many struggles today with young people. I mean, just all the trauma and tragedy that they see in the news. We want to give them an outlet. We want to give them uh, a space to express themselves and to decompress and to learn and, and learn about discipline and harmony and collaboration. And so, you know, I know for me, access to, I love, I love the piano. I learned piano and that was really important to me. Yes. And it was to Chris. Chris became an amazing, you know, Juilliard trained composer, musician, but there's a lot of people who don't become professional musicians for whom learning a musical instrument is imperative. And so um, we hope that the film 
helps the millions of young people like Porsche who just want to play music. Yeah, well, he made that point. It doesn't just create incredible musicians. It creates incredible humans. And there is part of the lesson. Yes. The Oscar that you won before, I can't believe I'm talking to a two-time Oscar winner. It's quite a thrill for me. <laughs> me uh, neither. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, huh? Not really the plan, probably, starting out, but how it's turned out beautifully. <laughs> the Queen of no. Basketball, you won an Oscar for that. You've won another one for this one. Uh, they're all stories, as you have made the point, about lifting people up. I love that. Stories about lifting people yeah. up, which makes me wonder what you're working on next and what we can watch for next. <laughs> oh, we've, I've got a lot of different, as a short documentary filmmaker, you're always working on a bunch of different things. But um, yeah, you keep, keep an eye on working on a, a film about uh, a Ghanaian cinematographer, uh, a couple other projects, but there's lots in the works and hopefully more to come soon. Okay, Disney Plus, Hulu on the LA Times YouTube channel and latimes.com because the LA Times was a co-distributor yes. of this. That's where people can yep. see it if they hadn't. Hold that up one more time, Ben, because we're going to feast our eyes. That is. is the Canadian Oscar from two-time Canadian Oscar <laughs> winner, Ben Proudfoot. What a treat to have you with me this morning, Ben, and congrats again. Thank you so much. Great to be with you. Bye.